Uh, dankie Sina, hallo Jasper en Dion. Uh, Jasper, hallo, jy is uh, weit uh, gereken as die eerste keer sy achtste man vir die bok en skielik speel Dwayne baie goeie rugby. Uh, hoe is hy dynamika tussen jylle twee en is hy competitie gezond? Hou jy daarvan? Ja, ek dink dit, dit, dit jou baie, ek dink dit gaan nie oor jou as uh, individuele speler nie, dit gaan oor dit gaan oor die span en uh, ja, op hierdie stadium speel Dwayne baie goeie rugby en ek is baie blij vir hom. Um, ek meen, ons, ons, ons probeer mekaar veel as moendlik help, en um, ja, dit is ongelooflik plek om te sien. Thanks, Zina. Uh, my question is for Jasper. Um, Jasper, just how has it been in terms of um, just um, rising to prominence within the box system, just establishing yourself, and also can you just touch base with you about your relationship with uh, Dwight Vermeulen? What have you learned from him, you know, and just how is it again having a guy like him to study from and just guide you as you go about um, your book career? Yeah, it's it's been it's been phenomenal. I think he... He has a calmness to his game that that any player can learn from. Um, I think he he brings an aura that that um, you respect him, and uh, I mean he's a he's a really good guy on top of that as well. So I think um, yeah I think the lessons you can take from him is he's always calm. He never gets gets to how can I say the the game doesn't get to him no matter what the situation is. And um, yeah, I think our career is on a on a good place. I would say we're friends, and um, yeah, I think it's it's a really good environment that we're pushing each other. All the all the losers, um, Yevon, me, and Dwayne are pushing each other for the for the position. So I think it's it's a really healthy healthy competition uh, in the box setup right now. Okay. Thanks. You know, how's it, Jasper? How's it, Dion? Um, okay. 2019, uh, both you guys, I think, would have been overseas watching the World Cup from afar. Um, if you could each just just tell us, please, what it would mean for you guys um, to be going to a World Cup? Both of you have been around um, a little while. Um, so just how, how special, how determined are you to get into that World Cup squad? Yeah, I think um, I was still at the at the cheetahs at that stage, um, but yeah, I mean, as Dion said, it's it's the pinnacle of anybody's career. I think uh, everybody's desperate to get into that squad, and uh, yeah, I think at this point you'll do do whatever you can to 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 get into the squad. So I mean, it would be uh, an amazing opportunity and a privilege to to represent the Springboks at the World Cup. Yeah, I think it's uh, as Leon said, it unites the country, and um, yeah, I mean it's it's special to to represent the Springboks and to um, have that opportunity to to maybe bring a bit of joy back in South Africa. Yes, but how does the balance of the the back row differ from previous tests? Um, I haven't been here that long, so um, but I think there's a there's a real good balance in the in the back row. Um, <clears throat> I think everybody's playing well. Um, if you take a guy like Peter Steff, Mark, who um, CEO is also coming back, we know what he can do. Um, Dwayne is playing exceptionally. He's playing really well. Um, Yevon also had an amazing season, and um, yeah, Dion for the for the Stormers as well. Um, Frank is in the back row as well. Um, so I think the quality in the back row is really really good. And I think that's a that's a, a really good thing, so that we can keep on pushing each other. If the players match for for this test, what difference do you think they? Um, I think the the thing we, I think we we all see what the players have achieved, and uh, like how how good the players are. I think the the quality we have in this system, you can't say. Somebody's better than anybody else because the the quality we have right now is is exceptional, and I think the the work we also put in is really, we really worked hard. So I think there's there's a high quality that we can bring, and um, you know as always just physicality and um, just playing our best. Is there a tangible feeling in the squad 
that this is a fine opportunity to say, pick me for the World Cup. Yeah, I think every every game is an opportunity to, to raise your hand. And um, uh, I do feel this is this is sort of a last opportunity to, to show what you can bring and uh, uh, what you can bring to the setup as well. So I wouldn't say it's a last gun against your head opportunity, but it's definitely another opportunity to prove what you can do. Yeah, I, I think Dion hit the nail on the head there. There's a lot of experience. Um, Unfortunately, experience doesn't win it for you. You still have to have that hunger, and uh, I think the desire to win the to win the World Cup again is going to be very important. We'll take another two questions from home guys. Hendrik and Ken. Uh, Hendrik, you can go. Jasper, ja, vir die sondag korante, of sondag media, Jasper, kan jy ondou wanneer jy die eerste keer na wereldbeker gekyk het en wanneer het was en wat is jou verwachtinge na, uh, vir, van die wereldbeker? Um, ek denk my eerste keer wat ek gekyk het was in 2007, wat ek rarig kan onthou. Um, ja, het is ongelooflik, ek denk, um, om die geleentheid, om die geleentheid te kry, om dalk daar te kan wees, is ongelooflik. En uh, ja, ek denk het beteken nie, het sal die wereld beteken vir enig iemand om om hulle land te kan verdienwoordig by een wereldbeker.